Well, good afternoon. How are you doing? Mike Bradley, I hope you're doing well as always. Um, apologies, I've got, uh, my throat is gone. <laughs> my voice is very much gone from, uh, from Nam. So uh, Nam finished yesterday, but I'm now in East LA and I'm staying at the very lovely, beautiful, wonderful Sean Daniels place. Uh, Sean has gone to Vegas and he's very kindly said, you can stay at mine, the place is yours. And uh, he's a sweetheart. So I'm here in Sean Daniels' crib. I mean, let's, should you have a little look around? Should you have a little peek? Right, I've got to watch my step here as I, <laughs> I nearly broke that when I first came here. Now, there's not much light in. I need to hunt out where I light. But here's, here's where the magic happens for Sean Daniels. He's got a nice big TV. He's got a nice desk. He's got some tech equipment. He's got speakers. He's got some lovely foam on the walls. He has a lovely amplifier with a microphone. He has some more lovely foam on the walls. He has a delicious Martin acoustic on a sofa. He has a lovely little cuddly toy. He's got a chair that swings round. He has a very lovely microphone. He has a delicious pedal board on the floor. He has a drawer that pulls out where it has lovely flashy things. So that's part of Sean Daniel's crib. It's very, very nice. And uh, we've got a little lounge area. And then we go in here. <laughs> and this is where the magic happens. Sean Daniel's bed, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I get to sleep in Sean Daniel's bed. <laughs> I'm a lucky boy. And here we have Los Angeles. Nice little, uh, lovely little view, actually. Really lovely little view here. You can kind of see the crazy LA hills, the mountains all up there. If I zoom in, where are we? Look at that. It's almost like I can touch it now. So yes, now I'm finished yesterday and I'm staying here for a few more days. So Sunday at the moment and I'm staying here until Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon is my flight. So depending on the order I post videos, actually I'll be posting this afterwards. So tomorrow, um, you would have seen it hopefully but before I put this up. Um, I'm going to Tim Pierce's house and I'm really, really excited. I, I have so much uh, respect and admiration for Tim. I've, uh, I've known about Tim since the 90s when I first started playing guitar. And uh, you know, I'd always see his name and I would you know, read up about session guitar players and I would hear this guy, Tim Pierce, you know, and I didn't know what he looked like. I just always would hear the name and I knew that he played on Runaway because I would see, you know, the, the musicians who played on Runaway, Bon Jovi's song Run, Runaway. And I thought, well, why is that not Richie Sambora? <laughs> you know, being 13 years old or whatever I was at the time. So I'm really, really excited, but I haven't really played guitar I know this is going to sound strange because strange, I've been at the NAMM show, but I haven't properly played guitar now in over a week. Um, I've obviously picked up guitars at NAMM, but when I pick them up, I'm like, I can barely play a C chord. <laughs> so I want to do a bit of practicing. Uh, well, not even practicing, just getting a guitar in my hand. So Sean has a few here. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting. I can just show you me warming up, what I do, uh, and I can... Uh, I'll find out what I do in a minute, <laughs> but I thought I'd just show you something. Cause what, for me, when I don't play guitar for a while, and when I say a while, you no, know, like a week or something, and like I say, yes, I have been picking up guitars, but it's been a few minutes here and there. It's not, you know, usually I've got a guitar in my hands, you know, at least four or five hours a day, you know, so sometimes more, sometimes a lot more, sometimes a bit less, but you know, I usually always have a guitar in my hand. So you now when people say, oh, I practice 10 minutes or something and then for one day and not before, you, you, your technique's gonna go down. So for me, it's, it's always my right hand, um, which I feel goes and I don't feel strong with. So um, let me get an acoustic and let me show you some stuff I'm gonna do. Look at this, 
because Sean's such a professional, he's got some great lights here, so I can get some nice mood ambient lighting going on. Um, so, <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> Blimey, oh man, Nam, you just, it's, it's so loud. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking there, not looking at the lens. Nam, so loud, and not necessarily even just during the day, in the evening, um, and you're just trying to talk over everything, and you end up sounding like a 14 year old pubescent young man, you know, a young boy. So, of course, I could be doing this. And I used to do that a lot when I was younger. That was three, one, four, two, you know, the kind of spider exercise, but I would do that. Go across and come back up, all right? I expect you've done it as one, two, three, four, maybe, or something like that. So this is really good, but the problem with this, and I want to keep doing this because it is good, um, but the problem with this, it's very boring. Um, I'm actually not minding it right now because I'm talking to you, <laughs> but if I was just sitting here, I would be very bored doing this. Um, so if you do decide to do something like this, maybe put the TV on, maybe get your camera out, and just start talking to it like I am. Um, and actually, as I've got to the end here, I'm going to go back up and go and back down and across and go back to the beginning again. Um, because, you know, this is so mundane, but it's building up muscle memory. You know, so because, like I say, my right hand, I'm left-handed. Those who don't know, I'm a, left, I'm a lefty. But obviously, I play guitar what is deemed right-handed. So, yeah, my right hand, I feel, is always the one that kind of goes and then getting that synchronization between the hands. So, this is a really good little technique to do. As much as I find it really boring um, when I'm not sitting in front of a camera, it's actually quite good to get that kind of going. So that's quite cool. You could not say there is a standard one, two, three, four. But I like mum no mumbling it. I'm I'm speaking mumbling, jumbling it up a bit. And you can string skip it as well. So go on the sixth string, then go to the fourth string, fifth string, third string. So that's quite cool. That's quite a cool lick. So I'm kind of, if you think of, you know, if you've got a blues, that, so they're like a D sharp nine or an E flat nine. I'm kind of, highlighting those notes in the chord to then ba, 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 ba. I can't do those notes but so what's cool there we're doing one note on a string so we've got the hammer five to six Let's see if I can come in closer here then I want to roll down to the sixth fret on the second string and then go to the fifth fret on the first string and then play that eighth fret on the first string then six five eight on the second string six on the second string slide to seven roll on up to seven on the third string you know and it's going back to, you're leading into the four chord so there, five, four, seven, five, four, D.
So this is something else I like to do, is then just play, you know, and just kind of come up with little ideas while you're playing and just go nuts a little bit, you know. But some other little things we can do, because I think doing one note on a string, um, instead of, no, most time we play kind of two notes on a string and change. Um, that's quite cool. So there, five on the second string, five on the first, five on the second string, seven on the first, five on the second string, eight on the first, five on the second string, ten on the uh, first. I slid there eight to ten. And if you do that finger picking, or well finger hyper picking, you can probably go a bit faster doing that, so that's quite a cool little thing. But I want to get my right hand going. Make it interesting and change the view a little bit. So, those are kind of your Chicago blues kind of stuff. Alright, so what's interesting there is that the root note isn't on the bass strings, the root note is on the second string. So, this chord here is an A13 chord, but we got in this case there, we got the G, so the seventh in the pace on the low string. But if you got you know that kind of jazzy Chicago blues thing. So uh, for an A thirteen, what we're doing, we got ten on the fifth string, eleven, eleven, and then ten on the second string. And it's all about that mute in the bounce. go to like a, a D9 chord so that's from the fifth string 9 10 9 10 again there would be the root right like the T-bone walker way of doing a 9 chord back to A13 Which we did for the same shape as the um, D, but this would be 11, 12, 11, 12. D and A. A good way of uh, thinking there so you can have your bearing. So when you're doing these nines like this E, good way of thinking that whatever is diagonally opposite your first finger, so it's on the 11th fret there, uh, whatever's diagonally opposite it, so here on the 12th fret, will be the root if you had another thing, finger or something, you know, so if I was doing, there's an A, I can get my thumb on it, it would be like so, you know, you could just get rid of where your first finger is. And of course doing that, you can just use your open string. Because 
because rhythm's all just as important. And then when you put. Ah! One more time. I'm leaving that in. That's cool to do. So you got arpeggios, where a lot of times sweeping is the best thing to do if you want a bit of speed. But again, as I've been saying, one note, uh, one note picking kind of thing. One note on a string, so I, nah, it's fried my brain. Um, but actually, this is a good one. I show uh, people I teach a lot of this stuff. If you want lessons hit me up and also I'm gonna start looking into doing some like group lessons via Patreon and stuff so um, yeah check out my uh, newsletter there'll be a link below and I'll keep you informed or if you want to check out my Patreon as well sign up there um, that's where I'll be doing some cool new things so do check it out but this is kind of Hank Garland inspired you all know Hank Garland by that Christmas thing, which I'll stop there because it's April. Um, so there, if you think there's a D shape, right? You can think of it from there, the C shape or that kind of thing, right? So we're gonna go nine, 10, nine, then 12, back to the nine, 10, nine, 10. Okay, that's the idea. Everything down up picking. And then take that back two frets. And so this would be an A chord. Go back two frets. <laughs> there would be the, the G chord. So you've got A, G. A and then we we'll do a little eight nine eight nine ten nine on the third string and then back to that root note the A note all right on the tenth fret second string That's quite cool, getting that picking hand going. And if you combine it with the kind of a sweep. <laughs> you get all that.
Oh, starting to feel a bit better now. Right, let's get out of uh, A. I didn't like that B bit. That's one. So my day. really starting to feel it there <laughs> but I suppose I'm going a little bit to, uh, into town here hopefully you're enjoying this um, again it's, 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 it's quite nice for me because it's like having a mate here because I'm literally now um, I'm on my own. Um, actually, let's have um, let's have mic time. Yeah, well, I had a um, <clears throat> had a bit of a moment actually earlier because um, I think this is the first time. Oh, the light's going now. This is the first time like I've I've been on my own, like properly on my own, um, in another country. You know, I've been I've been you know, away, and I remember when I went to Australia in 2020, um, there was times I was, I was staying on my own, but, you know, I had friends who lived around the corner, and even though they, you know, uh, one of them was at work a lot, or they were off doing other things, I knew I would see them. Um, but here, I'm completely on my own. And uh, when Sean left, um, and I was just kind of sitting here and I was just thinking about a few things and I just thought, oh, sorry. I'm just trying, I'm trying to change the camera angle a little bit so it's not one thing. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Oh, no, 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 let's go back here. Um, yeah, when Sean left, I kind of had a moment and I was just like, I'm completely on my own. <laughs> and, um, and I was waiting to hear back about a few things and that and I was just like, oh shit. And so I just went out for a walk. Um, for about two hours uh, trying to find my bearings and LA is just so big and um, 
I mean, I in in the UK we call them bypasses when you got you know quite a big road and you got two sets of uh, you know, cars coming up and down. But over here it's just you know the normal road, I guess. So I'm just walking and walking and just seeing lots of buildings and stuff, you know, and just trying to suss out. And and Sean bless him, he said I could borrow his car, but I didn't really. Um, I've never driven over in the States before and they drive on the wrong side. <laughs> Not like in the UK where we literally drive on the right side. So, um, yeah, I didn't really want to do that. So I've got Uber and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just had a, just a strange feeling. I was like, shit, I'm completely on my own. One lot, I do have, I know one guy, uh, a friend of mine, he lives uh, kind of West Hollywood way. Um, but he's a busy boy, you know, so, um, so yeah, I do know one person in LA, in LA, um, off the top of my head anyway, but, um, but I don't know if I'm going to see him or not, that depends, so, um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm an Englishman in LA who can't sing because his throat is screwed. I just took about 10 minutes off and I've just come back and um, I was thinking what I was just playing and I thought I'm going widdy 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 and something which I think is really important is something I want to try and um, work I guess more on my own playing is practicing playing slow because, and, I, and I'm guilty of it, I was just guilty of it a minute ago thinking oh I'll try and get my technique back and everything like that but you know, little melody thing I've just come up with. Guitar players hate space, don't we? We just think he's got to be, you know, fill up all the gaps. But you know, even there. <laughs> So try that, you know, put a backing track on uh, and instead of thinking, um, you could do the same thing.
so guys hopefully you're hopefully you're getting something from this we've had some fun we've had some laughter we've had some serious talk and we've had some guitar playing um but yeah repetition uh some of this stuff can be you know again i don't mind it at the moment because i'm kind of talking to you and it's kind of fun you know and uh, like i said earlier I'm all alone, <laughs> so it's, it's quite nice. Um, but if I wasn't here, I'd probably find just sitting there quite mundane. So if I am doing something like an exercise, I always try and do it musical. So it's reasonably musical, you know, it's not a hit song. It could be, maybe, depends. Depends on the context, isn't it? But it's you can hear it. As opposed to or even just We need to know our scales, but just going up and down scales isn't the most fun thing in the world. But you could go up and down a scale and do it in a musical form. I could, I could sit there a bit longer and I'm getting both hands going, but it's musical. I'm just thinking of silly little tunes in my head. There we go. Hopefully this video hasn't waffled too much and uh, I need to stop talking to try and rest my voice a little bit. Uh, so hopefully if you haven't already, check out the Tim video which I haven't done yet but by the time you've seen this, I would have done it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So um, hopefully you've seen that it's a really cool video, you know, or videos. I don't know how many we're going to do. So. Um, but I'm sure either way it would be a lot of fun. So uh, anyway, hope you're very good and well as always. Like I said earlier, do sign up to my mailing list. I really appreciate it. And if you want to be cool, check out my Patreon page as well. And uh, I'm going to start doing some... I'm going to start taking Patreon a lot, 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 lot more seriously. So I'm very grateful for the people on there. And uh, I want to do some more cool things. So uh, yeah, check it out. Drop me a comment, say hello. And uh, I hope you're very good and well, as always. Lots of love, Mike Bradley, signing out.